date, but what have you made of the contest this summer and what do you want to hear this morning? Well, I think it's been a great use of our resources, a great use of the media to have a, a sort of infighting in a Tory party when there's a huge cost of living crisis coming. Do I detect a bit of cynicism there? No, not from <laughs> me. Oh, surely not. Um, I would like to just hear the truth. And true, but tell us honestly what you thought. Well, so uh, you said earlier that I'm not left or right. I'm actually, I know that there's been criticism in the, uh, the Mail on Sunday today about lefty, liberal, wokey comedians on the BBC. I'm actually very right wing and I loved it. I thought she was very clear. She gave great clear answers. I know exactly what she's up to. And I think she's, uh, most people watching at home who are worried about their bills are going to feel... Point, Joe, forgive me, there's a I'm serious not being sarcastic, point. She's, she said that there was a big package of help coming this week yeah. for people to help pay their bills. very clear what she said. And I, I, I think you know exactly what's going to happen. I think you're reassured, I'm reassured. Are you reassured? But Emily Thornbury, so you're smirking. Up. ...say that you've had 12 years of the Tories and that we're sort of at the dregs of what they've got available and that Liz Truss is sort of like the backwash of the available MPs. I wouldn't say that because I'm incredibly right wing, but some people might say that. But the consensus, though, in politics is often wrong, right? Yeah. I mean, it's often it's often wrong and we often don't know what is going to pan out. Yeah. Well, as, as Liz said there, she said she would be wrong to predict the future, even though loads of people have predicted that we're going to have real issues with paying our energy bills. But, um, you know, I think she's right to just then just sort of basically say, well, let's not predict and see what happens next week. Okay. I think she did the right thing there. Well, and Joe, what do you make of what you've heard in the last hour? Well, it was nice to hear from Rishi Sunak. He's not going to be Prime Minister, so you may as well have interviewed Peter Andre. But I would like to see some sort of plan, something concrete. We need help now. Well, we think very much if Liz Truss wins the Tory leadership election, she's promised she'll come back with that plan in a matter of that? days. We're not quite now. sure. Well, well, we oh, might I have to wait a little wing. bit longer. Okay. <laughs> Joe Lysett, thank you so very much. <laughs> hey guys, so this was Joe Lysett on Laura Kunzberg's new show, which is now going to be, I guess, every Sunday. She's been promoted. She's got her own show. Well done, Laura. And obviously he was, he was pretending on the show to be a right-wing comedian, I think, to kind of mock those who are fed up of woke comedians. And he made some good points in the show, and I think his behaviour kind of shows that, you know, it, it, you can use comedy to make political points and when you do do it it can actually be quite funny because obviously you can tell some of the points of making the show are just ridiculous and also bear in mind that all the criticism he's heaping on the candidates they were just there in the studio so literally Laura interviewed Liz Truss and then Joe offloaded all that stuff same with Rishi Sunak so there you go now um, he's being praised for this some people are a bit angry with him but he is genuinely being praised for this and people are pointing out that this is a good way to use comedy and I completely agree with that. And uh, I'm going to leave you with <laughs> what I think is one of the worst credit sequences I've seen in a long time. And that's the credit sequence for this show. Have a look at this. Uh, it's just dreadful. <laughs> this is terrible. This is a terrible... We're only a few seconds in. You can see this is a terrible credit sequence. Look at this. That's just awful. Ha! <laughs>